Hey, so I'm going to show you guys quickly just how to open up this Mila vacuum and replace the cord reel. So what you want to do is take your flathead screwdriver and uh, just push in this but the buttons on the side in and then just to make open up a little gap so you can fit your flathead in and you want to push in the center there you're, you're basically you want to push in the little pin that's holding the piece in place so you do that on each side and the piece will come up so here you can actually see the pins or clasps right here So what you want to do is just pry out this little piece here and uh, be very gentle when you apply your leverage because it can be pretty easy to break off this piece. You can see for this piece here, I broke the tab. For this part, what you want to do is actually, once you've got the first tab loose, you want to wiggle out the last piece by pulling outwards from the side of the vacuum. So just going to quickly show you the piece that broke off and just how it's supposed to look like without the broken tab. Now you're going to need your T20 screwdriver. There's going to be six screws holding this red trim plastic cover onto the vacuum. Take the bag out. So I don't have a screwdriver that's actually long and thin enough to fit in uh, because the, the top trim piece is just blocking the way. So I just had to use two magnetic bits to get this to work. Take out the filter. Now you just need to disconnect the connector plug here. So after the plastic cover is taken off, there's another four screws underneath here and I'll just go over them one by one. There's one here here, here, and here. Now we just need to take the motor cover off and then there's just two little clasps on the side here that hold this cover in place. So all you need to do at this point is just pull the clasp apart and then pull out this piece. Remove the motor shielding and then remove the motor power connector. Now you can just wiggle out the cord reel and then just make sure you keep this rubber tube. So this is what a broken cord looks like. 
you can see here the white cable there and it's torn so now just take your replacement cord reel put it back in and then make sure you place the rubber tube back in place make sure you reconnect the motor and then also make sure the electrical cord is pulled out Connect the rubber tube to this small hole here. For this step, you want to put in the two screws here before putting back the board on top. Otherwise, it'll block the screws and then you won't be able to install them easily. So just to show you, the buttons actually still work even without that little plastic piece that I broke on both of these buttons, but it's just a little bit wobbly, but at least it won't fall out, so it's totally fine. 